Hello, this is Stan for GPT for Work. I'm going to make a new data analysis demo uh, with GPT for Sheets uh, directly in Google Sheets. You could do the same in Excel. So in this case, we have uh, a first column here that contains reviews um, for a uh, kitchen product, consumer product, and I'm going to analyze those. So the first thing I want to know is uh, what is the sentiment of those reviews? What I can do is uh, use the bulk uh, classify tool where I will first set the header row to four. That's this one here. Uh, then I can select the reviews column uh, that I want to classify. My categories will be uh, positive, neutral, and uh, negative. I'll put the result in the sentiment analysis column and let's run 20 rows. And you can see that almost instantaneously, I get my results, which is awesome. Uh, and also you can see that they, uh, the cells got colored conditionally upon uh, what their value is. So that's a native feature of Google Sheets and shows the power of using GPT for Sheets alongside, uh, in, directly inside Google Sheets. You, 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 can, you can use the native features of Google Sheets to make your AI results uh, more readable, more easily understandable. Okay, let's uh, run all the rows uh, so that we have everything here. You can, uh, this will usually go really fast, uh, up to 250 rows per minute. And there we go, we're done. Okay, uh, next step is I'm interested in uh, what users have disliked about the product. So I'm going to extract the top three cons of that product from based on the reviews. <clears throat> um, so I'll just here type top three cons and then uh, configure my tool to extract from reviews and put results in column C and I'll just do 20. Let's go. There you go. So it's awkward, not user friendly, settings not easy to use or adjust. Uh, this one says too complicated to learn and operate compared to regular pressure cooker, not affordable to replace multiple regular pressure cookers, etc. Um, so that makes it much easier for me to review uh, the negative aspects of those reviews when uh, reading the full reviews could have been super long because these uh, con customers uh, write a lot of text in some cases. Okay, now that I have the uh, negative aspects of the reviews, I can tag those uh, to um, segment them uh, even uh, more cleanly. So I will use this list of tags here uh, to understand more about what uh, went wrong. And uh, in this case, I'm not going to use a bold tool, but a uh, GPT function, uh, GPT tag in this case. So I can just set up my formula uh, here and basically means that I will take this in input and the tags that I just showed you and it will then return all the tags that apply to these, uh, these cons. Let me zoom out a little bit to make it more readable. Okay. So now I can drag my formula and I will get my tags. Okay. And uh, once I've uh, gotten these, uh, these tags, uh, another cool thing that I can do is, uh, again, here I've prepared a little uh, counting formula that counts each, uh, the, uh, that counts each, uh, all the occurrences of each tag so that I can quickly see like what is um, bugging the most the customers. And in this case, it seems to be the product quality itself as well as the features. Um, okay. And if I'm the product manager, I maybe just want to get like the, uh, uh, an improvement recommendation. So in this case, I can use a custom prompt and I have this prompt here that I'm going to copy paste directly here. Let me change this to the correct column name. 
that you can see here. Okay, so I want just one single best recommendation. Okay, let's go. Oops, need to set this up. Okay. Okay, so this is taking a bit longer than usual. Ah, there we go. Um, still went pretty fast. So to get 20 recommendations, and there uh, I have those uh, as I can then read uh, as a product manager, all of those to get um, to know how to improve my product for a better customer experience, basically. So I think this is uh, great. Uh, in five minutes, I was able to analyze customer reviews and uh, prepare um, how improvements on how to uh, make the customer experience better for this product and make the product itself better. Okay, I hope you appreciated this uh, demo. Uh, don't hesitate to ask questions and or reach out to us. Uh, remember that this is also doable on Microsoft Excel with GPT for Work and see you next time. Thank you for listening.